silver showed a little swing last week coming off from the lows at $29 level so you see it going closer towards 30 before closing the week with a doji can we expect it to continue with this momentum here or there is a possibility for a reversal and a drop what is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading silver in the coming week we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators and towards the end of this update i'll be sharing with you the trading levels and strategy watch till the end subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the twice a day updates and targets which i share for silver do like share and comment which is a great motivation join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support let's start with the four r charts you can see the waves here see double top is seen and then since then it is trading in this bearish channel now you see it is consolidated enough here at 29 before retracing here towards 31 now this is also one must notice that this is a breakout here out of this channel and this is a nice flag formation so silver is still suggestive of bullishness here though it has fallen back within the channel but as long as it respects 29.50 and 29 dollar levels we should not be trading this as bearish only bearishness in silver is seen if it trades below 29 dollars this is very very clear see moving averages have crossed over here and are still staying in the bullish we can see diminishing bearishness here on the 4 hour charts and thus a uh, coming week is going to be interesting if it starts with a rise here it can try to move towards 30 and if it stays above 30 we can look forward to bullishness but then it is very very important for it to break past 30 50 levels in order to confirm that it has reversed if you look at the stock i think this has come to oversold levels look at MACD on the 4 hour chart see after retracing it is crossed over here and it is looking downwards see it only just two candles away it requires a lot much of effort from silver in order to converge crossover and reverse right now it is looking downwards and it appears to be trading with slight bearishness RSI has come out of the overbought zone and it has dropped significantly coming to the daily now look at the daily chart see after the rise it is forming a nice flag formation here and this is still trading in this bearish channel the lows of this channel are towards 28 dollar levels and see it is forming nice waves as well right now i can say that it is tried to reverse from the top of this channel now that is one part to it second part is see the rise here on silver it has started the rise from this zone at 29.50 we have seen it is staying bullish and it has erased all the gains in just single cap but i will still say that 29.40 is the level it needs to break in the coming week 29.40 29.20 if these two levels are taken then 29 so these zone these three levels are going to play an important role any drop below 29 should be treated as a strongly bearish move and then below 29 the drop might take it towards 28.50 and then 28 dollars now if you look at the move here see the drop here was sharp then the retracement then the sharp drop and then the retracement and then one sharp drop but i can still see that it is delivering higher lows higher highs so i will not treat this as a reversal unless and until it breaks below 29 dollar levels in the coming week this is something you should be watchful of see what has happened here rise retracement rise retracement rise retracement taking the support uh it can st still stay bullish we have to be watchful here for a the stock i stick has seen a rise it is trying to drop but look at meg what has happened on MACD? See the waves here, and again it has hit the lows. It is trying to converge crossover. So this crossover can lead to bullishness. But right now I can say that it is shying away from the cross. It carried the momentum, but then one single candle has appeared and again is starting to diverge here. So the current levels are going to remain crucial as the breakout here is going to be equally strong. While if it converges crosses over, the bullish momentum may prevail. The RSI is looking downwards, trying to trade bearish. Coming to the week, now look at the weekly chart, see the movement is very very clear, rise retracement, rise retracement, rise retracement and it is trading in this bullish channel, you can see this. Now taking the support, it is trying to stay in zone and if it comes out of this channel, we can look forward to a bearish momentum which can prevail here for next couple of weeks or more. So if you see silver is staying below 29.40, $29 levels and then 28.50 if these three levels are taken consider that it may try to move towards uh, 28, 27, 40 and in fact 27 dollar it might be the case that this can happen but it is going to take time specifically for next week if you look, if you look at next week you can find out see the preceding candle is a doji candle and this is followed this is preceded with a, a couple of 
bearish strong bearish move then a reversal sign and then it is traded in this retracement channel so as long as in the coming week 29 dollar levels are respected the chances for it is staying bullish is strong and if you see it opening bullish and continuing on the upside consider that it is trying to reverse and a rise on the upside can be seen where we can see silver moving towards double top levels that is one possibility we should not ignore and thus possibility of a double top level also exists however it needs to break this zone at 31 we have to watch out a little more coming week is going to be interesting as any breakout below this should be a bearish reversal confirmation the stock elastic is looking down look at mac you see macd on the weekly charts is trying to converge rise retracement rise and it may yield a second round of wave here which can take it towards the lows before rising so a uh, possible uh, possibly coming week or next few weeks i will say is going to be of interest for silver a crossover here can lead to the bearishness for the near term where the prices can in fact move towards uh, 28 26 levels as well rsi has come out of the overbought zone here coming to the monthly charts now look at the monthly charts here see silver this was the first rise post covid then we have seen it retracing and silver has stayed in a range or a zone for a while before giving this break and if you look at we can see three strong bullish candles are seen and the current candle is trying to stay in range now what it is trying to do see it was outside bollinger bands and that is what it is trying to place itself around bollinger bands and not to stretch it much far but one thing which is clear is the breakout which we have seen here in silver and it is trying to confine it self within this bullish channel as well now the lows of the channel for this month is at around 28 and in fact even if it tries to trade bearish for next couple of months or so the support levels here at around 26 24 are going to play out very very well for what it may try to do it may try to close the month outside bollinger bands wait, wait for the moving or bollinger bands to expand and then continue here for a while outside bollinger bands this is one possibility very very high where it closes the month is going to be of prime importance to us and uh, specifically any closer at around 30 30 50 zones should be an indication that uh, we can see slight bearishness but major trend is still bullish that is one confirmation while on the downside breaking below 29 we can say that the prices are trying to look forward to a sharper drop which can in fact take it towards 27 as well we have to be very very watchful in the coming week specifically the stock stick almost running flat look at magdi magdi on the monthly charts crossed over here trading with divergence looking upwards so i say i see that possibly there is further room for silver to rise and stay bullish the rsi is also very very near to top so now we have seen the charts we've seen the indicators time for me to give you the trading levels and the strategy here and before i give you the trading levels and the strategy if you want to learn this art of trading you can be part of my 30 second mentorship band. and if you just want to trade as per the signals you can join my signals channel on telegram we're trading as per the signals you can benefit we trade diverse instruments including indices and commodities do not miss to register or write an email or ping me on telegram for your queries related to the services my telegram and email ids are there in the channel and video description and those who had asked me to recommend a broker where you can trade all the global instruments which offers a self free account with the lowest spreads you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description now first let's talk about the levels i will recommend you to buy at 29 see 2975 2980 is a very good zone to for us to buy but beyond that we can look forward to 3010 first target 30 30 the next and then 30 55 levels will come into picture if you see silver is staying beyond 30 55 we can see that it may try to show further bullishness and then i will look forward to 30 80 and then higher highs towards 31 beyond this is where the bulls will try to take over else it is still not bullish it can try to reverse on the downside where to sell yes 2940 is going to be one zone where you can take a selling entry but then also 29 20 29 dollar levels and below 29 is where slight bearishness will be observed it is very very important for silver to break below 29 and then 2875 will be seen below this we can look forward to 28 45 28 20 
and if it breaks 28 20 28 dollar levels is going to be the next milestone below 28 is where slight bearishness can be observed where we can see increasing bearishness and then we can look forward to 27 40 levels at the next milestone i do not see that happening in the coming week but yes if it breaks below 27 possibly a crash is what we are looking forward to 26 50 levels chances for which appears to be less however these are markets you need to stick to the levels take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss like share subscribe and comment join the mentorship badge join the signals channel reach out to me for your queries join the free telegram channel for live updates and the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort thank you have a great profitable trading week ahead